I want you to make a note of this scene and everything in it at the present moment. Whoa, dude, like, my old girlfriend from Tucson hunted me down, man. I'm totally bum, because I have another girlfriend here in three. After the buses started running again, I decided to come see my boyfriend. I really shouldn't have, though. <laughs> Check him out. I think he's the bee's knees. Oops, I, I mean, way cool. He used to be in a band. Chicks dig, musicians, and unfortunately for me, I have no musical aptitude whatsoever. Hey, everybody, it's Chuck -a Conroy. Welcome back to more Earthbound. Last time, we continued going all around the world, seeing many things that had changed, and, uh... I'll certainly say that we changed this world a lot. We made it very dark and scary and uh, possibly seizure inducing. Um, and no, that is not your imagination or are you still suffering from any induced seizures. I have gone out and I've caught in a cold. Why I would do this, it'll become obvious in time. This time, we're gonna be moving on from three to bigger and better things, bigger and better cities. A girl in Foresight called me. There's a really popular band there now. I think they're called the Runaway Fire. <laughs> the Runaway Fire? <laughs> I didn't realize how funny that sounded until I said it out loud. I came from Foresight by bus. Buffalo. Oh yeah, I saw lots. It's awesome. These guys know what's up. Foresight is all about what's hipping and happening right now, and we're gonna go there. But first, I wanna stay in the Three Sunset Hotel, and yes, because we have Jeff in our party, price of admission has gone up yet again, because I guess those people in Scotland, uh, they don't sleep in the same room as each other, something cultural like that. I'm also sorry for saying that the uh, Winters was based on England. I, I thought England and the UK were the same thing because I'm a filthy American. I'm very sorry. Good morning! The pride of three publishing community! The three journal is back with a vengeance! Zombies vanquished! Tunnel now open! <laughs> With this guy being terrorized by that zombie newspaper all that time, I like to imagine that he just greets you with such gusto that he can finally read the old newspaper that he used to read to everyone, and now he just appreciates the little things in life so much more. <laughs> uh, just my headcanon. We're gonna check the bus schedule because, uh, we don't walk to new cities. No, we take the bus. This bus goes to Foreside. I can't let you on if you don't pay the $6 fare. Do you want to go? You bet we do. We're gonna hop on the gray hand bus. It really says that, I like that a lot. And that scene that I told you to take note of. Watch it very closely as we pass by. That guy was not there before. Due to a programming error that has never been fixed in any official re-release, that guy is never there when, he, when you can actually talk to him. If you could talk to him, he would have said, I wanted to catch one of the ghosts in the tunnel and keep it as a pet. I'm just teasing. I could tease like that now that they're gone. And more interestingly than that, there is also a man that you can see elsewhere if you were to make that man visible again. And he says, I'm a detective from Tucson. The statue called Mani Mani or something was stolen from uh, the Happy Happyism headquarters. Do you have any clues for me? If you say yes, he says, oh, I see. If you say no, I like this a lot. He says, don't try to feed me your lies. <laughs> Earthbound having quotable lines that we didn't even know about all this time that were dummied up because of programming glitches. I'm sad though, because not only is that a funny line, but it's also integral to the story and tells it a lot better. But hey, there you go. I'm here to fix the programming mistakes of yester, yester double decade. Uh, we can see that there's quite a traffic jam going on. My job is to drive, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to get off the bus and walk around in the desert. Hey, it's a free country. <laughs> well, we're sweating out in the desert. We only sweat whenever we're in the desert itself. Not when we're on the road, even though the tarmac should be very hot. This traffic jam is taking forever. Man, do I need to go? I feel sorry for the guys behind me, but I'm so bent. I'm leaving my car here and walking instead. I heard a little ways away. I heard a buffalo is running across the road. I can't move an inch. Welcome to the very end of the world's longest traffic jam. I was gonna see my girlfriend in Foresight. At this pace, it'll be 100 years old by the time I get there. This kind of reminds me, um, I've seen people get out of their cars during really bad traffic jams before. There was one time where the traffic was at a complete standstill, and I saw a guy just start... Whatever you're into, Ness. Um, I saw a guy get out of his car, start dancing around on the trunk of the car in front of us, just break dancing to this loud rap music that he had playing. And 
after he was done and we were just laughing so much, he pointed directly at me and was like, that one was for you. And I'll never forget that guy. I just, I think of that every time I see people getting out of their cars and driving jams. With a sign that says drugs in big, bold, rainbow colored letters, you think this would be the hot hangout for all the new age retro hippies, but no. In the drugstore. We have Mr. Baseball Bat. Unfortunately, I sold my Mr. Baseball cap, so I can't have that match anymore. Ooh, my inventory is full once again now, isn't it? I will... Magic Truffle... Paul. Give that to Ness, because why would I give it to anyone else? I've already showed the line of text if you don't do that. The thick fry pan is not as good as whatever Paul has got equipped right now. The deluxe fry pan, however, is. Oh, it was the thick fry pan. That explains that. Everyone's got silver bracelets, but Ness does not have a coin of slumber. The Mr. Saturn coin is better than the coin of slumber, and we've already had it for some time. Why is it always the other slot that does that? It really is never the weapons or anything else. It's always the other slot. This drugstore. I didn't know this for the longest time. Hello there, may I help you? This old man works here. I know that the clerks in the drugstores have been the guy with the glasses and the old man, but he doesn't look like he's supposed to be working here. He sells wet towels, which I want to buy one of. Refreshing herbs we've already seen, calorie sticks, lucky sa- I gotta buy a lucky sandwich. It's practically tradition at this point. After it was so good to me, it would be mean to keep calling it a bad item. And not only that guy, but we're also running it in, mister. It's $210 a night if you want to stay here. Do you want to stay? No, I'm fine. I'm quite okay with that. That's probably for the best. You see, our beds are really old and dusty. Do you sleep on the bookcases or something? I didn't know that guy also let you stay here. That was... This place is not at all straightforward to what it is. I think they could have done with some more counters for people to stand behind. So I would think, oh, you're a service that I should probably use because talking to you will make things like that happen. Uh, and I guess also before we go out back into the world, let's call mom. Hey Ness, you sound terrible! Gee, thanks. Do you have a cold or something? Whatever dangerous stuff you're doing, remember that good health is very important. Try to keep as healthy as possible, even if it kills you! Well, I'd better go. I think my omelet might be on fire. <laughs> I've never seen that phone conversation before. Mom, still being awesome. Well, if you ever catch a cold, or catch cold as some grammatically incorrect people like to say. Sorry, it just really bothers me. I know it's not that big a deal. All you have to do is go out into the hot, sweaty desert. I have not taken damage from my cold the entire time that I have been here, even though I've had it. And that's not the end of it either. This is not anything new or special or wacky or surprising. It is a mole playing rough who I guess didn't have enough when we were in Happy Happy Village, so he followed us here because we were just there. After winning that battle, or just exiting it, I am taking damage from my cold again. This is something that was only very recently discovered. Um, encounters on the overworld, as well as damage from pre-existing statuses and the ability to get new statuses on the overworld is turned off at certain times. It is believed that the developers intentionally did it when you're walking around the desert so that you would not get the sunstroke ailment, which we have not seen yet, when you're trying to figure out what's going on and buying equipment in the shops and get blindsided by a new status ailment you've never seen. Ending a battle with a regular enemy will trigger this status being turned off, which is why there is a nearly unskippable mole playing rough right there. If you were to find a way to skip past the mole playing rough, which is possible with stutter stepping, as I've already shown, and then you were to die to a boss, you would get stuck on the game over screen. This was discovered by the community just two days before I posted the video about Mondo Mole, so that's an example of how new things are still being discovered all the time, and it's amazing. And now we're gonna link that to yet another obscure topic. The wet towel is an item meant to cure sunstroke. Like so. It's really great for those times. But I'm here to also show you that this is a poorly programmed item. Probably use the wet towel. Ness got over the cold. So what have we learned here today? If you ever get a cold, go out into the hot desert and you will not have to worry about feeling sick anymore as long as you don't get into any confrontations. And if you need to get over a cold really, really quickly, just throw a wet towel over your face and you'll be good. We have a new enemy starting off, the Skelpion, who's not very tough at all. His main threat is that he inflicts poison and if you're under leveled and don't have healing beta, that can kind of suck. Luckily for me, I'm not. Go, 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 go. Welcome. 
Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Goo, you, Kiki. Talarama is great and kind. Kiki, kyu, kyu, kyu. And he knows everything Talarama does. I'm going to stop. He made this underground room. Aw, I almost got all the way to the end, and I quit just too early. Never give up, kids. Never, ever give up. Otherwise, you end up looking really lazy like I do in that situation. And like I also don't know how long text boxes are in Earthbound. How could I? Talarama is now fasting and practicing silent meditation. He's also abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly, too. Good thing I got over my cold before coming in here, otherwise he'd be very upset. We try checking him and nothing. Looks like this is a place that we're gonna have to remember for later with its zany music. It'll definitely not be a place easily forgotten. And with no other way to go around, this way through the desert is the only way forward. I wanna check my health real quick just because there's a magic butterfly right over yonder. Ness only lost 10 HP. Eh, I might as well take the full heal. And we have a lot to go over in the desert. There were way more enemies in this place than I remember there ever being before. I never consciously thought about it because it's just such a big, giant open area, but they gave us a large number of enemies to match, and there's just so much to do and see in general. Now, what do I think of this area? Do I think it's big and unexciting? Actually, kinda. I know, it sounds so foreign for me to not be saying, oh no, this is my new favorite area, like I have about everything. Get back here! Get back here! Uh, okay, fine, I'll talk to these people before I lose them. Annoying kids, what a group of brats. Scat, you little monsters. We sleep in the desert, so we're often mistaken for corpses. <laughs> but a corpse doesn't usually wear a bathing suit, right? Hey, I'm staring at my tan lens, go away. If I ever run into a corpse, I will ask it if it wears bathing suits. Hey, look, a corpse! That was weird how the game hung on there for a second. Okay, new enemies! The Smiling Sphere and its cohort. The Crested Buka. Crested Bukas have a regular attack. They can waste their turns like a lot of other enemies can by just having a big grin in its face. Um, but most notably, they have a war cry. If you would be so kind. Well, being dead is kind of like being kind to me right now. Whoa! Uh, the war cry would have lowered your offense. Smiling spheres are exploded enemies. You want to take them out last in the group? And even though it said that its uh, maniacal laughter did not have any effect on Ness, uh, I'm just a pile of bleach bones. I can't talk. Ness is able to speak with the dead with his psychic powers. That's got to be a blessing and a curse. Anyway, uh, the laughing maniacally doesn't do anything. Even though it said it had no visible effect on Ness, that doesn't mean that it can. A double burger. I'm so glad there's finally a burger item that I don't have to feel self-conscious about saying. Uh, all right, you. Smiling Spheres, one last thing that I want to say about them before we probably don't talk about them again for a long time. They are another enemy that drops a one in 128 item. They have a chance of dropping the Meteornia. An item that we've seen before is a rare drop from enemies, but this is yet another one of those bullet points that you want to hit. Like with the Territorial Oaks, you probably want to come back later after you've grinded it up that you can just insta-win against them and not have to worry about them exploding into bits. Do I get it? No. Getting one in 128 items when there's groups of enemies is a little bit rough. You, however, are not a little bit... Whoa! That was kind of cool. The cute little UFO. I had a friend once who kind of went by that as uh, as their moniker online, and I kind of always think of them whenever I think of that, but that means nothing to you, so I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, anyway, just like other UFOs, they... Okay, that's kind of neat. I always welcome you doing damage to yourself. Just like other little UFOs, they have obscenely high speed. You're gonna have a heck of a time even hitting them. What is cool about them, however, is that they are a rare instance of an enemy always dropping a present. In this case, I got a boiled egg. I say in this case because they are also the only enemy that can drop multiple items, or only enemy type. Ness grew to level 33, and I should also mention that Paula grew to level 27 while I was out setting up that whole thing with the cold because I wanted to go catch one before then. Grab a couple life noodles. Um, the Great Crested Buko is apparently uh, the information police. 
And uh, we can't walk any further right here. Can't walk through this? Can't walk, can walk around it, but it's kind of taking up some space. Why would you feel like talking to a tiny black sesame seed like me? I want to apologize to the white sesame seed that I hurt before. If I could just see her. Aw. Even out in the middle of the desert, instantaneous memories? Just add fuzzy pickles. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographer. Jesus, but I'm a photographer. I'm a photographer. I'm a photographer. Nessa's turn to get blocked out. Paula's mildly embarrassed by him, given her expression. So she's just like, um, yeah, no one needs to see that. <laughs> well, uh, oh yeah, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on, come on. No, no, I don't care. I don't care about you. You are not what I am after. I am getting that thing. Desert Wolf, whatever. Your drool is kind of freaky, and I don't know why you have that much mouth moisture to go around when you live out in the middle of the desert, but I don't care. I ain't a biologist, so I ain't gonna question it. Any further than I already have. Come on, just smack it one more time. Thank you. Desert wolves also have poisonous fangs. That's really the only thing to watch out for on them. That's the only thing remarkable about them. No, come here, come here, come here, you. Yes, back attack. That was a criminal caterpillar. They are rare enemies that are easily beaten. They will always run away from you no matter what level you are. They only use PSI Fire Alpha in battle. And they give 10,000 experience to a party of three each. <laughs> Paula grows yet another level. I queue up by three. 13 PP, you're making me pee proud. Vitality up by two, Jeff, you're no slouch either. 25 HP, look at you, getting bulky biceps going on. We heard about these buffalo. The bad buffalo, so bad. You are the reason that I can't go on to the next city very quickly and I have to walk around out here in the desert. Do you have any idea how much time this is taking up and having me be in the first area that I'm not particularly wild about? Whoa. I didn't think he was gonna live. Oh, he was only 24 HP or less away from dying. Cool. I think that was about all of the enemies that we have seen. I am amazed I have not gotten Sunstroke yet. Spotted something shiny. It was a set of contact lenses. Jeff got the contact lens. Why did he only pick up one of them if there was a pair of them? What use would one contact lens ever do to you? Unless you were trying to be a really high-tech monocle-wearing dude. Contact lens. It must belong to someone. We'll take that with us and just kind of see where it gets us. Double burger inside. We got more healing items all the way around. Basically, in the desert, you want to go around the perimeter. This is going to get you the most presents... PSI Caramel, which I've been way too sparing with using. There have been plenty of times that'd be good. Uh, Double Burger. <laughs> Sounded kind of funny. Double Burger, Double Burger. Sounds like it kind of be a song. It's not a challenge, I swear. Uh, let's throw a sprig of parsley on the Double Burger. Let's take a sprig of parsley, use it on the Double Burger. It didn't taste very good. I beg to differ. I've had sprigs of parsley with my burgers before, and it's been great. PSI Caramel, thank you. Um, I guess if there's one thing I would say about condiments that's pretty helpful are items that are PP restoration based. If you were to use, uh, I think a carton of cream or the packet of sugar on a PSI caramel, oh. you would wind up with some pretty nice uh, recovery effects where you'd be getting a lot more PP recovered because uh, guaranteed PP recovers are so hard to come by. That is definitely a use for those things that I hadn't really given them credit for on before. I'm mildly worried about this battle. I'm, oh, okay, Ness. That's why auto-targeting's not good, and that's why I don't select auto-battle at any point in battle, which I don't think I've even acknowledged auto-battle up to this point. That's what it sounds like. You kind of give up control of your characters, but because of the auto-scrolling HP mechanic, that actually can be a bit of a blessing because you get through the menus quicker because they just kind of work themselves. Yeah, 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 mortal damage, whatever. It's okay, I'm going to be fine as long as I mash buttons. Speaking of mashing through the menus, enemy left a present, cookie. So that's a different item that you can get from that UFO. It's like a gachapon with a little cute pink bow on top. I like it, very charming. There should be cute pink bows on more gachapons. Why? Because it's cute. Nest screw to level 34. Vitality up, HP up, PP up. And I realize the power of shield beta. That's the physical one, not the psychic one. Uh, Paula grew to level 29, and realized the power of defense down alpha. Another thing to tell you about Paula is that while I was out setting up that cold and she leveled up, 
Actually, no, I want to go in this. Yes, press A for PSI information. She learned PSI Shield Sigma, an ability held by the great legendary hero Buzz Buzz. We're coming into our own. We really are. We already saw what that did, but as a quick refresher, it will make any psychic attack that is not thunder, any sort of elemental psychic attack otherwise, disappear. Jeff, have a cookie. It'll remind you of the horrible thing that you did on Tony's birthday. Thank you. Uh, gonna take... No, I won't. I wanna keep around the perimeter, make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't wanna not be diligent about it. Oh, there we go! Finally! I was actually thinking we'd go through the whole desert without getting sunstruck after how long we went. Now I can talk about what it does. Jeff had 45 HP. Now he's got 43. You take two damage every few steps. It is pretty much the same as a cold, which I guess would explain why that wet towel cures it as well. We've made it to the end of the desert, and we could leave, but there's a lot more for us to do here. If you want to get rid of it, healing alpha will suffice. You don't even need healing beta. It's one of the lesser status ailments. The way that it is determined is that every few steps, you have a chance of getting sunstroke. That chance is based on the character's gut stat, and it just so happens Ness has the highest gut stat out of everyone, and I like to think they did it that way because he's wearing a cap and thus protecting himself from the sun. I have no way of knowing if that's what the developers intended, but it's what I've always thought. It's my headcanon. We got a bit of a dig site here. It's a small house, but please stay the night. Good call, Dad. Don't think I will. It is very important that you talk to this guy. This hole's great! Good hole! Good hole! Good hole! First, someone asked me to dig for buried gold! Then I began to feel like I was obligated to find it! Man, I am starving! Do you have any food you can spare? Seems like you have a lot of stuff! Whenever I see people say that a hole is good, I can't help but think of Byron. Uh, the skip sandwich... Do you want the sudden gut spill? Can you take that? Come on! I can't eat this! Take the boiled egg. I found it out in the desert. If I ever if I find the gold, I'll give it to you. If we see the job that he's been doing so far with that backhoe, I wouldn't imagine a backhoe would be too useful in an underground place unless the ceiling was very high, and even that sounds very risky. But what do I know? I'm not really a miner. When we go back out, he's no longer out here. And he's not in here either. Maybe the boiled egg was such a nutritious snack that it caused him to lose so much weight that he floated away and we'll never see him again? That's what I'm going with. Uh, big bottle rocket inside! That's the first big bottle rocket we've been able to obtain other than the one that Jeff came with, which means that we really should get on using our items a little bit more. I'm gonna start off this new movement... ...by moving faster. I heard the black sesame seed I used to love is somewhere in this desert. If you see him, please tell him that I still love him. Really? You've seen him already? Is he okay? Hmm. I see. Jeff grew to level 29 as I was on my way to go see the Black Sesame Seed once again. And ooh, and not just because I saw a monkey. As sea monkeys live in the sea, desert monkeys live in the desert. I mean, er, oh, dessert. Not as good a one for an even better one. Whoa! I think I beeline from halfway across a desert to join us in this fight. Oh yeah, cute little UFOs, they are healers. I was so caught up on talking about their item mechanics that I failed to mention that. They're probably who you want to take out in a group first if you don't want to deal with enemies. Right by where we found the contact lenses, I somehow missed this sign. <laughs> I lost a pair of contact lenses here in the Dusty Dunes Desert. They were a memento for my grandma and very important to me. If you find them, bring them to me and I'll give you a reward. I'm Pentella Giovanni. Find me at the Foresight Bakery, second floor. It always hurts to lose a pair of contact lenses because just like how this sign is posted right next to them, you know where they are, they're just transparent so you can't see them. Uh, hi doggy. I swore if you got away from me during my invulnerability, I would have been livid. <laughs> Finally caught you after dragging you around the desert. 
Why would you feel like talking to a tiny black sesame seed like me? Or sesame. I want to apologize to the white sesame that I hurt before. If I could just see her. What? The white sesame still loves me? Weep, weep. That's all that they will say. It seems like this would be a side quest with some kind of resolution. Maybe you can get the couple back together, reunite them. I don't know, pick up a sesame seed and move it somewhere else, but there is no resolution. That's as far as it goes. These two pixel-sized star-crossed lovers are forever separated. Skip Sandwich DX away! The traffic jam is now fully cleared out and we can walk down the highway if we so please. We're going about the speed of a car in this world. And along the highway, I'm a broken slot machine, but the Sanchez brothers and their friend are a very, che are a very cheerful trio. They will make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? Not right now. Okay. I'm Big Brother Poncho. I'm Kid Brother Pincho. I'm Thomas Jefferson. These two guys are oddly memorable, but not something that I get any enjoyment out of. You insert one dollar, they spin around, One? I never win anything! Amigo, you want a very big jackpot! Here's a big pr We got a chick! I don't ever get these things! I've sat here for so long playing this game so many times and never win anything! It's completely random and I swear it's rigged against you. Wow, that's very good. That's also one of the better prizes that you can get out of them. I would say the second best, even though they call it the big jackpot. We're going to play this a few more rounds. The Sanchez brothers, if they all face west, will give you a can of fruit juice. Wahoo for how rare... Okay, I was about to say, if you, that guy facing west, and we actually got it. If they are facing east, they give you a skip sandwich. And most interestingly, if they are facing south and you get the triple sevens, they will give you a PSI Caramel, making it yet another one of those very rare instances where you can infinitely get guaranteed PP recoveries, though I would not recommend it. Now, while I'm playing a few rounds and blowing way more money on this little sideshow than I should, I can think of it as maybe paying for their college or something along those lines. And then again, if I stick with this, maybe they won't even have to go to college. Uh, I, there's the ideal solution to their troubles. Would you believe me if I told you that other than Earthbound slash Mother 2 and the prequel and sequel Mother 1 and Mother 3, there is another game in this series developed by the folks who made this game. It is a card and dice game called Slot Brothers. It's a very, very rare game. I would say it is the rarest game in this series. But they got their own spin-off physical card game and... I've heard it's pretty fun. It's only ever been released in Japan. Big surprise with this franchise. And I've never actually played a round of it, though I do have a copy of it, and that's what you're seeing right now. I think it looks really cool. I like how it's very true to the game. You have clear renders of these characters who previously didn't have official artwork. The dice is the symbols that they have on their bodies. It's a bit of an obscure piece of Earthbound trivia that I... Ugh, I got so helpful there when I saw 1-7. That's how the casinos get ya. You know, a broken slot machine is still right twice a day. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 yeah, 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 no! Come on, 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 You! I have never hated American politics so much in my life, and that's saying a lot. We got something. Amigo, you won! A very big winning, I think. Here's a very nice prize for the important amigo. Skip sandwich. Cool. Well, that'll help us get out of the desert all the much quicker. There is something I want to talk about when it comes to chicks. If you use them, it'll say, seeing chicks makes you happy. Nice double meaning there. Many have interpreted this as using a chick instead of letting it grow into a chicken as a cure for homesickness. This is not, however, the case. You cannot cure homesickness by using a chick. It's just kind of a common rumor. That's the desert. It's full of ups and downs. Ironically, for a place that I wasn't looking that forward to playing, and I still stand by it not being one of the most spectacular places in Eagle Land, 
there was a lot of obscure trivia that I was looking very forward to talking about that I could only talk about here, so I guess at least that had a silver lining for me. Anyway, with that done, next time on Earthbound, we head out of the desert and see what lies beyond. See you guys then.